lot of shows on TV. He plays a sexy detective on one of the longest running shows on television, Law and Order SVU. And my producers are walking around here freaking about how hot he is. So <laughs> would you mind him arresting you? Take a look. Are you here? So they found the gun. No. All the brothers still missing. The house boy. He saved his life. Oh, so he made it? Yeah. Except one of the bullets hit his spine. Doctors don't know what that means yet. Yeah, they do. Let's welcome Danny Pino. to rooms with all these women does your wife get jealous no my wife is very confident yeah but I think if she were sitting here she'd maybe be a little a little nervous right it's yeah. a pretty audience now oh look at that yeah so what did you think about the um, plastic surgery conversation I heard you were watching backstage and I'm curious what you think of plastic surgery and can you tell when someone's been really worked over if it's if it's overdone you could obviously tell um, I tend to respond more to uh, and, and this is maybe a cliche, but somebody who's confident within themselves, uh, I think that makes them more attractive. Right. Know? Well, I want to hear about you. So you. I have not had any work done. <laughs> oh no. I have not. I have not. <laughs> no. Um, but I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Well, I'm we thinking. got a couple of doctors in the audience. So. <laughs> so you joined a Law and Order SVU season 12. So how is it to join an institution? You know, Law and Order. Uh, as a franchise is such has such a legacy uh, great actors uh, guest stars directors writers uh, and then to have Mariska Hargitay to, who I've known for years by the way to to be able to play with you know uh, opposite Mariska Hargitay and Ice-T and Dan Florick so uh, having Richard fun. Belzer yeah absolutely so they make you step up your game do they is there any hazing process you know, there there may have been a, a hazing uh, incident, but you know, I'm I'm a I'm one of five brothers, so Back I'm I'm jokes. used to being hazed, and I'm also used to hazing. So what? Tell me. So what? T tell me how you got hazed. Okay, so our captain Dan Florick, who plays uh, Captain Cragen on the show, he came in the first day that I was uh, I was shooting. He walked into my dressing room, and he came in. He said, "Danny, you know, I want to uh, to welcome you, and I'm excited you're here. Uh, I know your work." And uh, I know that you're going to come and add uh, something great to the show. And I stood up. I said, thank you so much, Dan. I'm, I'm happy to be here, too. And as he walked out, he threw uh, a barrage of flatulence. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was like a machine gun, you know, like, like ra -ta 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 -ta, on the way out the door. So he farts on command, that captain? Well, he's very talented. Wow. Okay. He's, he's a highly skilled and trained actor. It turns out he had a machine in his pocket. Oh, all right. Yeah, he was just waiting for the turnaround right at the door where he pressed the button and, and, and just let it fly. And what did you, what did you do back? Uh, a few days later, I put a, uh, a prison urinal in his dressing room. <laughs> yeah. Has this been going on? Does this continue throughout the season? Oh, it continues because he actually used it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you're married for how long? I've been married for 12 years. Oh, okay. This is the beginning of Law & Order SVU. So, how did you meet? I met my wife, Lily, in uh, middle school. In junior really? High. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's your secret to 12 years of marriage? You've, you've got to keep it fresh. You, so you do? You do? Did your wife wear lingerie? Do you do date night? You do all that fun stuff? Uh, you know. <laughs> really? We need, yeah, we need answers. I think, I think I need a touch-up. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I, I think it's more about knowing what it is she likes, uh, not only intimately, but also what she wants to do and surprising her with certain things. It, it actually takes work. It's not mystical. Got it. You know, I think you have to work towards that side that is ephemeral. Agree. You know? Agree. So you told our producers that you were really boring. You said, I'm just boring. I'm just a dad. I'm boring. And then we found this. <laughs> so your captain. And there are more. So your captain hook, and this is your dog. That was your. This is... uh, it's a dynamic duo. Yeah, every yeah. year? Yeah, we saw, we stopped crime. We're... <laughs> 
Vigilantes, we got the Batcave. Yeah. All right, well. That was my audition for Batman, actually. We, I, I'm going to help you with next year's costume. I, I have a picture of it. Oh, yeah? Yes. Right? Bacon and eggs. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, we have to take a break. When we come back, we are going to put this detective to test, OK? I want to know how well you know your co-stars. When we come back, let's see if you can crack the case. Oh, man. Have you ever heard of Two Truths and a Lie? Yes, I have. and I want to put your detective knowledge to the test. Have you ever heard of two truths and a lie? Yes, I have. You have. All right, well, we have audience members here that are going to tell two truths and a lie as your co-stars. So let's see how well you know your co-stars and your craft as a detective. I'm screwed. Okay, and if, <laughs> if you guess correctly, the audience will win a prize. Are you ready to play? All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Wow. Now I'm ready. I'm Mariska Hardate, and I was crowned Miss Beverly Hills in 1982. All right. My, my high school team won the volleyball championship, and I played a hooker at a bar in leaving Las Vegas. Right. Is that like the Jeopardy theme? That... You want me to review for you what you said, or do you want to remember? Yeah, hit, hit me. Oh, hold on, I would be holding that up. Okay. All right, tell me the truth. I am Mariska Hargitay. <laughs> I was crowned Miss Beverly Hills in 1982. My team... <laughs> my Usually team... Usually that comes after the scene, but... <laughs> my team won the National Volleyball Championship in high school. I played the role of hooker at the bar in leaving Las Vegas. Huh. I'd say it's C. C is the it's, lie? Is the lie. You are incorrect. Ugh. The lie is that my team won the National Volleyball Championship in high school. Mm. Okay. Everyone in the audience is going home with a shutter ball by AudioVox, a device. <laughs> You take the perfect selfie, okay? First gift. Keep it going. Iced tea. Let's okay. hear. Okay. All right. So I am Iced Tea. I served in the U.S. Army. Um, I've done voiceovers for several video games, such as Grand Theft Auto. And my first hit album was Felonies Ain't Nothing But a Number. C. Right. You are correct. Okay. Everyone in the audience is going home with a $50 gift card to Arthur George by Rob Kardashian, so you can buy some fun socks. Okay. Now it's me. All right. Can, can we take a moment to appreciate the bling yes. on, on the flashlight? As a detective, you need a bling. I am Bethany. I was a member of my high school chorus. My first successful business was my makeup line, Beauty by Bethany. I had a part in the soap opera, Santa Barbara. What was the name of your first rap album again? <laughs> uh, I'm a lick a gangsta. <laughs> C. from Solo Eyewear. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Check out Law & Order SVU Wednesday nights at 9, 8 central on NBC. And when we come back, find out the pieces hiding in your closet that can instantly make you slimmer. Thank you. Thank you.
46% of women are wearing the wrong size clothes. So it makes you wonder, are my clothes too big? Are my clothes too small? But if you get the right fit, huge difference. She looks amazing. It looks like she lost weight and all she did was go on the clothing diet. There is so much more we have to talk about together. So let's get into it at Bethany.com.